All right, so this is the stock wink relay. Let me go through that for a second. If you've already got your wink relay set up and you want to add a couple more apps to it, the first thing you'll have to do is factory reset it. So if you press and hold the top load button while you press the reset button on the bottom here, then keep holding the top button while it boots back up. You should enter the bootloader. Don't be alarmed by the word error down there. Then use the bottom load button to do the wipe data factory reset. Go down all the way to the bottom. And click yes. Once that's done, you can try to reboot the system, but you probably won't have too much success. So then at this point, you reset to factory image. This way you make sure you're getting it just as it is when it comes out of the factory. Which is, I guess, why they call it a factory reset. And once that's done, you will see it boot back up. So the boot up may take a while. You might see that the uh, Wink Relay screen, you know, the, the logo is loading um, and loading for a while. I think the longest it's taken me is about a minute. So once that's done, you'll get to the choose a Wi-Fi network screen. Choose your Wi-Fi network. All right, so once you've put your Wi-Fi password in and connect to your network, you're going to be prompted to either log in or sign up. Let me turn the light on so you guys can probably see that a little better. So before you do anything here, we've got to get to the home screen and install a couple of things so that when you get your auto update after you log in, we can keep doing our work. So you're going to put your thumb over this sensor up here and you're going to press and hold the bottom load button for about 30 seconds to a minute You'll see your lights spaz out like you just saw mine do, and that means you're pretty close to seeing your home screen. So first time you see it, you're going to get your usual tutorial, as you would on any Android device. But once you've got that, you'll notice you've got a home screen with a live wallpaper for some reason, and a browser. So once you've got your browser up, you can navigate to Gmail or whatever email client you use and then you'll be able to send yourself an email with links to the apps you'd like to download. I think that for now you can stick to the basics which are making sure you've got a good home button and browser. Now when you first open this it'll walk you through and explain how to configure it but to give you guys the overview you want to make sure that on click you get home and I always like to set up some kind of functionality for the other ones so double click usually takes me to my settings and a long click can take you to 
a specific application like, for example, Google Chrome. Oops. When we add more apps, you can have a double tap take you to whatever you're going to be using to stream music and makes that getting to it a little bit easier. But for now, I normally do home setting and then your browser. And then you'll see it on the bottom here. It's this little blue hue that you'll see there. Once you've got that downloaded, we're going to install it. This one is also pretty quick. It's very light, maybe three megabytes. And then we'll go ahead and open that. As soon as you get the app running, you're gonna press your hidden home button and it will prompt you what launcher would you like to use to complete this task. At that point, you're gonna select Total Launcher, hit Always, and now you're using Total Launcher. So we will work through cleaning this up. I mean, at this point, you can set this up however you'd like. You can move these items around, you can delete them, you can add new ones, you can rearrange, you can do a lot with this launcher. For now we're going to leave it as is and we're going to go back to the Wink Relay app. From this point you're going to either log in if you've already got an account or sign up if you don't. Once you've entered your username and password or signed up, whatever method you use you'll get the screen where it's asking you to please wait a while while your device is configured. At some point after maybe 20 seconds of that uh, configuration screen, you're going to get this one where an auto update is going to be pushed to your device, after which your relay will restart automatically and boot up with that new software loaded. Now it's important that you install the browser, home screen, and launcher before getting to the step because once this update runs, some of those functionalities go away. So if you've gotten to this step and have not yet installed a home button, a browser other than the stock browser, and a launcher, then you're going to want to stop, factory reset your device, and start from the beginning. It does sometimes take a while to reboot, but feel free to walk away, give it five minutes, give it ten minutes, do something else. Um, at some point when you come back, you will see that it's rebooted and you should get this screen. If you don't and you're stuck for more than 10-15 minutes, press the small reset button on the bottom of the device and it should boot back up and give you this screen. But make sure you wait 15 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes before doing that to make sure you're not messing up the update process. From this point on, it's your usual Wink Relay setup and you're going to want to go through this so that you can use your smart switches here as expected. So tell it here what it is that happens every time you press this. Walk through this brief tutorial. get to our new home screen and start configuring this. So for those of you interested in the exact layout that I've got, you can download the backup zip, make sure edit mode is on, press and hold on the bottom right corner, and then come over here to the backup center. Where you will import from wherever you've got it saved and then make sure you apply it. So that's for Wink, which we haven't installed yet, but we'll take care of that next. 
as you add applications, you'll notice that they start to appear down here. And once you're done getting this configured and you've got the widgets loaded as you'd like, you can just hit that edit on off button and you'll see all the editing tools go away. If you'd like those to come back, press and hold on the side there and press this lock. And then you'll see that those are back on. Alright guys, well I hope this tutorial has helped. Um, feel free to post any questions or comments you may have. And uh, as you go through and add new apps and confirm new apps work, feel free to share that in there as well so we could all learn from anything you may have picked up, anything you could think of to improve this. Thanks for watching.